came in. What happened to your neck? Um, do you want a coffee? I'm taking the orders for the crew. Oh, Shannon, have you seen Daisy? What's wrong with her neck? She seems, uh, kind of sick. Oh, and what's with Brian? I don't have time to spend chatting with the new guy. Alan's been buzzing around my lights all day like a June bug, and I have to deal with that fucking makeup girl. Who the hell are you? I've seen you running around set. You're an extra, right? You don't know who I am. There's only, like, Eight people working on this production. This is just great. There's people everywhere, and you know, um... you're the one acting upset. I can't tell how to deal with the crew. It's stolen property, Saul. Someone took my clapper, and I want to know who. Your clapper? Really? The one you brought from home? Listen, that still isn't my problem. We've already provided you with a clapper. Don't insult me, all right? Someone took my property, and I want it back. Tell me who took it. It was given to me by Ed Wood's brother's uncle's co- Relax. Now calm down. I just need it for good luck. Shannon stole it when you called her a talentless hack. What? I only said that to inspire her. Yeah, how's that working out for you? Huh. Oh, Earl, it's you. Earl! Coffee? Uh, hey, guys, uh, coffee? Yeah, sure, Pat. Uh, one cream, three sugars. Okay. They're sure pushing us hard today, aren't they, Brian? Brian? Oh, Brian, now you decide to get into character. What in the f is up, man? No coffee for me, Pat. I'm, uh, I'm going for a smoke. Okay, that's three coffees so far. Okay, things are getting weird around here. Daisy with all those bite marks, Brian acting like a real zombie. I have to talk to Alan about this. I don't care if he's not having a good day. This is for the good of the crew. Same as always, kid. I make it snappy. Hey, Alan, can I talk to you for a moment? It's about the crew. Pat, Pat, Pat! Not now! Not now! Can't you see I'm dealing with my inner emotions? This is important, Alan. Something that should be dealt with, like, immediately. None of your working class wit, Pat. Nothing is more important than my emotions. I am the director. So bring me my coffee! Talking to Alan right now is hopeless. If I want him to take me seriously, I'll have to make him happy first. He's emotional. Kind of like my ex. <sighs> Hazelnut blend, don't forget the cinnamon. Yes! My body grows weak. I just want to taste the sweet kiss of hazelnut. Yes, Alan, whatever you now say. Now go! So maybe I'll... Let my natural nice guy instincts kick in, warm his heart, and get on his good side. Hey, pencil deck. What about our coffee? Mr. Andrews. What did they hire you for, anyway? Get our stars order, please. Uh, hey, guys. Can I ask you a question? Anything other than our orders? I don't think so, Cream Puff. Hey, Flatty. Let's hear the kid out. 
Little guy wants some advice from the cool kids. I think Pat is intimidated by the way I do push-ups and woo the ladies. He was totally jealous with what I had going on with the last makeup girl. Uh, yeah, it's not advice. Uh, I just wanted to know if you guys have noticed Daisy. <sighs> okay, there are only two females in this production. And Daisy, she's the hot one. I gotta snag one of these two to prove my male dominance. And I gotta keep Pat away from the good one. All wrong. You'll never kill a man that way. Feel the squeeze. Feel the squeeze. Don't tell me what to do, Jabroni. No way am I getting stuck with that prude Shannon. I hear she's got the clap. Oh. Stupid roid raged wrestler. Oh, I don't think that helped me with Alan at all. What the fuck? Oh fuck! Oh shit, I ran out! I swear, the next idiot that wastes another bottle of water is fired. <laughs>